All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive-through. Busy, busy day today for the drive-through, but we're used to it. We're efficient, and we can handle all sorts of orders. Okay, this is number twenty-one from eight-one, sponsored to you by the deli. Need a snack? Stop by the deli. Make yourself a sandwich. All right, so look. This is pretty much straight up algebra. It says reduce the following ratio x squared minus 7x plus 12 over x squared minus 16. So I'm excited for you guys to stop complaining like, I miss algebra. Mr. Tanaka actually taught us something. He wasn't so fat with a beard. So th this should be an easy question for you guys. Okay? I'm <laughs> just joking. Just joking. This should be an easy question, right? Just bam, bam. No! You can't do that, so don't do that. It's not the rules. You can only cancel things that are being multiplied. So, can you factor the top? We're looking for two numbers that multiply to be 12 and add to be negative 7, and those two numbers are? X minus 3 and X minus 4. Well, negative 3 and negative 4 are the numbers. Very good. On the bottom, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to be negative 16 and add to be 0. Oh, now we're talking multiplication. You hear me? So can I do this? Okay, anytime you're confused about that, just go back to like sixth grade. Could I do that? Yes, I could. Well, then that means you're doing a legal, you are doing a legal operation there, okay? So the final answer is x minus 3 over x plus 4, and you'd have to be Chuck Norris to simplify that. Otherwise, simplified. Boom!